What's up, snails? <clears throat> Do you, uh, like the mad scientist hair? I thought you might. <clears throat> I've been thinking about updating my oath for a long time. As I've grown so much in recent years, so I've put together a new oath to stand as it will for as long as I see it necessary. <clears throat> but this is basically how I intend to continue to grow and how I plan to live my life. It is my oath to no longer strive toward the confines of identity but to become a place, a mobile living paradise. To be a realm where life isn't taken too seriously. To keep my eyes watchful for glorious beauty and to share it. To explore the beauty of this world, <clears throat> all that it has to offer. To nurture the playful spirit I have beaten down to cope with the pain of living life. To be fully present in wonderful moments. To do what is necessary when compelled by compassion to do so. To live a lifestyle of artistic expression <coughs> and exploration. To create genuine connections with people. To heal so that those wounded near me are allowed to heal as well. To more openly express affection more often. To give more love than I receive. To have a lot of fun. To continue to chase that which makes life worth living and to celebrate it wholly. To never be one of those young men who sold away his only chance to live young for disappearing paychecks and compiling regrets. To be true to myself in the face of extortion so the next time a man threatens me with violence, <laughs> precedence will be set. To do my best to behave in accordance to my highest judgment, not allowing <clears throat> the knowledge of what is legal to disrupt what is right. To only obey laws that coincide with these convictions. Create no suffering, resist abuse, and rule thyself and none other. To convey my message through the art of living my life. To interact with people in such a way that those in my presence are glad to be alive. I promise to die before my dreams do. This is my oath. What is yours? <clears throat>